Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining Immersion Technology Services for this virtual event, the Collab 365 Summit. We're excited to be here. In the next 30 minutes, you'll be hearing from Joe Schweitzer, Chief Learning Officer for Immersion Tech, and Dave Baldwin, SVP of Sales for the company. They will be discussing how and why you should leverage your SharePoint and Office 365 environment to implement learning in your organization. Dave will be speaking from the perspective of a business executive looking to purchase a learning management system, asking Joe the kinds of questions that you may have considered or should be considering when looking to train for growth. Why invest in new technology when what you have is already right in front of you? The reason we're here today is to discuss a theme that has become increasingly apparent to me. It's the importance of learning in the workplace. In conversations with my colleagues, industry experts, and others, I've seen an emphasis on a shift to plan learning to support the overall organizational success. You know, the idea of connecting knowledge, organizational culture, and technology to drive change, yet retaining valuable information that makes us stand out from our competitors. It's exciting, but this concept, like for many of you probably, is still very new to me, and I want to know more. Why should I implement learning in my organization? How will I as a business leader benefit? And what risk am I taking if I don't invest? Joe, as a chief learning officer for a company that provides a unique solution with LMS 365, maybe you can give me some insight as to why this should matter. No problem, Dave. A common challenge we're seeing is a lack of consistent, valuable training in the workplace and an inability to scale as companies grow. In many cases, current training and knowledge transfer is barely keeping up with daily operations and is not fully structured to support an organization's future development and success. What are companies doing to fix this problem? Due to the rapid growth of technology, the time gaps between the past, present, and future are being compressed at an accelerated pace. If a company has not already developed a learning strategy and is actively building the right skill sets to meet tomorrow's opportunities, they quickly find themselves behind the power curve. To maintain momentum and initiative, companies are looking for ways to stay ahead of the game to identify and close gaps before they become operational issues. And Dave, I think you hit the nail on the head with your earlier comment. A key component is risk management. Implementing learning through a learning management system like LMS 365 can mitigate this problem and minimize the associated risk. How does a learning management solution tie in with your vision for an organization that has concerns about risk management? A critical component of business is to proactively manage risk, right? And by risk, I mean the daily operational challenges, issues, and emergencies that can adversely impact business operations, as well as meet required standards. Most organizations have best practice standards, as well as compliance and reporting requirements, both internal and external, to ensure they operate within boundaries, safely, legally, effectively, and profitably. A common challenge faced by HR or training managers is to keep track of required compliance or safety certifications and annual qualifications. This could be anything from safe forklift operations, HR policies, anti-money laundering compliance, commercial drone operations, you name it. With the LMS, you can easily manage and track all of this, and through real-time reporting, ensure that you are proactive instead of reactive. This can be a real challenge when you have a just-in-time compliance situation, like when a new change comes out for an internal policy or government regulations that impacts your operations. The LMS can automatically update the change of the source document, a one-time action, and send a read and initial message to all impacted employees, highlighting the associated changes as well as its context to their work. That's pretty cool. I see what you're saying, but aren't these instances that you mentioned one-off examples? I don't see those as consistent. What is the long-term value? Great question, Dave. Managing risk is only one side of the coin, but the one where most organizations feel the daily pain. The other side of the coin, what I see as the true value of an LMS, is enabling your organization to grow and succeed, to get to the next level, the next goal, the next place. What an LMS can do is create an organizational framework to employ learning strategically, yet impact learners tactically based on who they are and what they do. Like you mentioned earlier, it's tying together culture and knowledge while using technology to maximize that connection. Everyone learns differently and every company has a different learning culture. With the LMS, you have the ability to maintain that culture as well as enable its growth. That's its true power. At the learner level, an LMS provides a structured but dynamic learning path. For the organization, it provides a consolidated framework to aggregate, curate, and deploy institutional knowledge. Knowledge is not tied to an individual or group. It becomes a part of your company's very culture. 
And of course, its potential and power extends well beyond managing risk. How so? I can see that my employees will benefit directly, but to what extent? How do I drive change within my organization with learning, and why do I want to? I see those questions as two different goals that leaders like yourself have in mind. One, using learning to support business objectives, and two, using it to support your employees, especially the modern learners. So you're saying I can use LMS to support my business objectives and drive change? Yes. An LMS is a very powerful tool to support those objectives and drive change, but it's not a silver bullet. Its strength is derived on how it is employed given the culture of the organization and what it needs to learn. What I'm getting at is business leaders, HR, and operations are important stakeholders in creating the learning blueprint that an LMS will support, as well as its ongoing operations. In essence, the LMS channels alignment by highlighting and solidifying the interdependencies across the organization to focus on what is important. This process enhances synergy, ultimately providing a strategic view of what is needed to learn and why. An LMS will help you define what skills need to be sustained and developed within your company to meet specific business objectives. It sets a systematic framework for competency-based learning. It defines what courses and learning tracks need to be delivered to meet organizational goals. Defining competencies directs focus to another critical question of any training program. What content do we need and how will our learners best absorb it to translate it from knowledge to action? By analyzing these factors, leadership can determine a strategy for success that reaches beyond individual job development and contributes to the growth of the entire company. Training must have purpose, be directed to improve decisions, and add skills to perform specific tasks that support a company's business needs and goals. Joe, if I heard you correctly, you're saying all training, no matter what kind, should be long-term. Training as a whole, yes. The challenge with training today is that it is looked as a single event, one that could happen every quarter, like some sales training, or one-time event when onboarding a new employee. But we should take a broader approach and instead recognize that it should be an ongoing process, connecting current and future business objectives to learning and skill development. Because it's an ongoing process, one that never ends, we have to look at our people as continuous learners and support them with the right technology. With an LMS, you can define KPIs, train to meet them, and then assess the results Goals and objectives change. Training and how we learn will have to do the same. It's all about dynamic learning. An LMS provides a framework to structure, deliver, and manage this continuous process. One that can be quickly changed and adopted to fit one-off training needs, yet support long-term learning. Again, how that's accomplished really depends on your company culture. Okay, if I understand correctly, what you're saying is that a LMS can be used in both instances, both long-term as a strategic application and tactically for specific training needs in the short term. If I have a need for one-off training, bam, there it is, at the snap of my fingers. Exactly. Take a standard operating procedure, for example. Say it is an important guideline for your operations employees, but a critical change comes out driven by an external entity that modifies current processes it needs to be followed almost immediately. With LMS 365, you can quickly send out a short training module that identifies the change, its relevance to operations, and then track acceptance. Maybe even add a short scenario with a quiz and a two minute video from the COO reinforcing its relevance and context. Your company can quickly roll out a change event to all employees or just certain sub-organizations with measurable results. Or, another example, Dave, say you need to train your specific team on urgent changes that need to be made to a product. Your support team also needs to be looped in and trained. With an LMS in place, you already have the tools available to do that, quickly and efficiently. And your team can feel confident that the customer is well taken care of.
Joe, I know you mentioned earlier that it is important to keep business and operations managers, you know, those responsible for the bottom line, connected to the learning process. How does LMS support or enable that? That's a really good question. Often HR is given the task of managing and operating the organization's learning strategy to include the content and associated technology tools, such as an LMS. Based on the organization or culture, manager integration into the learning process may not have the right influence it needs to have. LMS 365 supports that integration in a few ways. First, frontline managers are connected to their team's progress through the manager dashboard. This provides a real-time visual status of their people, who's learning what and where they are. For example, there's an annual safety qualification that needs to be met by a manager's 20 employees, and it encompasses a one-week training course. At the six-month mark, the manager reviews his dashboard and also receives notification through the LMS that only one quarter of his people have completed the requirements. That means 15 people need the qualifications, and 15 weeks of admin time needs to be scheduled and deconflicted with work requirements. The manager can now figure out a solution with enough time to meet competing priorities, compliance, and operations. Second, the LMS enables managers to participate in their people's learning path. The assignment course tool is a great way to infuse managers into the curriculum as learning gatekeepers to reinforce, contextualize, and connect learning material to the real-world environment. For example, an assistant bookkeeper in the operations department is taking a course on tax nexus, keeping track of revenue by state. Fun stuff, right? Part of the LMS course involves a live practicum with the operations controller. During that live interface, the controller can reinforce the requirements unique to that region that will require additional reporting criteria. Equally, the controller validates the content being delivered in the course to see if it meets current operational needs for this year and for next year too. Interesting. And Joe, one lingering problem I face is each business unit, whether it's sales, product development, or HR, is that all training takes place in silos. It's kind of a good enough approach, but we move so fast that no one has time to consolidate our training company-wide. Can LMS 365 help me achieve that goal? Of course, that's exactly the challenge that the Florida Department of Agriculture was seeing when they approached us. Though the organization had training in place, information was siloed and there was a lack of uniformity. What they needed was standardized training for 4,000 plus employees. I think we touched upon it earlier, but a learning management system like LMS 365 should be your go-to spot for anyone in the organization. A single hub for learning across departments where all can gain access. Once uploaded into LMS 365, content can be shared between all user groups at any time on any device. One of the great features of LMS 365 is that it is template driven. It's real easy to copy lessons, modules, and courses very quickly, then edit to tailor to specific needs. This automation, once again the power of technology, lets trainers and course administrators focus on evolving content and delivery methods across the organization. I also see this as silo breaking and having a more systematic learning lens. But you can just as easily set up specific sites for your sales, product development, and HR departments with training tailored to their needs, while also allowing easy access to other training. A single hub for learning sounds perfect. Also, you mentioned earlier using a LMS to support your employees and the modern learner. How does that work? An LMS will help your employees evolve and your business will benefit from that growth. The modern learner has little time, absorbs knowledge in short bursts, and wants to know what you're doing to invest in them. They're often asking themselves, what's in it for me? Or why should I stick around? Yeah, like the millennials. Yep, exactly like the millennials. But the same also holds true for any employee, wouldn't you agree? We all want to feel valued, knowing that what we're doing is contributing to the company. Equally, most companies and employees have come to realize the learning curve is the earning curve. And what better way to support that curve than to invest in a system that continuously helps them develop their skills and their careers. And then, in turn, think of how it will benefit the business as a whole. You'll have smarter, 
better skilled employees than your competitor. And what's more, they're all working towards common business goals. Ultimately, an organization wants to turn those learners into teachers, leveraging their expertise and deep understanding of company culture to impart their knowledge, creating a powerful learning loop. This is the awesome potential of what I call operationalizing organizational knowledge. In today's world, you have to keep up or get left behind. The modern learner is demanding. They need access to learning and training material anytime and from anywhere in the world. Handouts are boring. They want videos, audio, white papers, reports. They want variety. Microlearning, consuming content in less than four minute increments is also important. Today's learners are consumers that have very little time and short focus. Content needs to be discreet, easy to absorb, and relevant. Finally, the modern learner has a strong desire to share knowledge with peers and measure progress against them. Gamification, social learning, badging, dashboards are all components that comprise the new way of learning. An LMS, such as LMS 365, encompasses all of that. Joe, business is people, so, so that makes sense. All that sounds great, but from a management perspective, how do you ensure that what we discuss is actually achieved? You know, another challenge I've seen and experienced is knowledge retention and the passing on of the knowledge and skills. We are people for their skills, often a leaded team. But how do you make sure that their ideas and knowledge is absorbed by the team? How do I track progress and measure ROI? The first question I would ask is what do I want to achieve? This will determine how your LMS is set up and what objectives need to be met. But the key elements you describe are absorption and adoption. No matter what learning or training model you use, Bloom's Taxonomy, Kirkpatrick's Four Levels, or Dale's Cone of Experience, to name a popular few, the end state we're all trying to achieve is the same. Compress the learn it, use it process to achieve better outcomes. From there, you can track progress on multiple levels, both macro and more granular. Reporting and analytics highlight individual and team progress and allow you to identify learning gaps. You're constantly engaged and aware of what your people are learning, providing you with an operational oversight that allows you to add expertise and context to a learner's progression. The level of interaction and social tools are important. LMS should provide a constant feedback loop. This will help to validate curriculum, evolve content, and gauge buy-in to learning initiatives. Yeah, that makes sense. And brings me to my next question about learning strategies. Before we met today, I did a little research on new learning methods. Can you explain to me what a flipped classroom is and how a LMS can support it? An LMS is a great application to deliver the flipped classroom, which is a more focused, proactive learning method. It maximizes live classroom time so students learn more actively and efficiently to better absorb knowledge and apply it. Students complete basic content outside of class. Using the LMS, pre-class material can be viewed anytime, from any place, based on the learner's preference. Since content comprehension occurs beforehand, while in class, learners can explore the knowledge through more application-based and collaborative activities. Equally, instructors can collect feedback and run reports on learning activities to assess the effectiveness of the pre-class and in-class material, then modify it as required. They can also send post-class material that further reinforces the live classroom experience. Though in its basic form, an adaptive learning loop is created with the content, and its delivery continuously evolves. Very cool and powerful stuff, especially when you add the power of visual content and micro-learning. You know, this all sounds good for increasing skills and knowledge, but how does it help employee retention? How does it support keeping people on our team to grow into future leaders from today's internal ranks? That's a good one. Executing a learning strategy and using technology to enable that strategy has a deeper subconscious message. By design, LMS implementation makes an organization look to the future and make sense of it. Leadership needs to determine what must be accomplished across the organization to achieve success right now, next year, in five years, and beyond. What skills do we need to develop and acquire to perform critical tasks and meet future goals? 
if you want to know where a company is headed, a major indicator is their training program. It is the arrow that points to their perceived future. At the individual level, an LMS enhances a psychological connection of the employee to the organization. The message is this. As a company, we have a plan of how we need you to perform and how we can help you grow. To accomplish this, we will provide you with an advanced platform and deliberate strategy to help you achieve this growth. You are part of our future. Evolve with us. That is a powerful message in this day and age. So the impact on employees and employers is not clear to me. But what about outside of these two stakeholders? Say partners and customers, for example. How do they benefit? Now that makes it even more interesting. Using technology like SharePoint and Office 365, you already have the framework for sharing. These tools are made to support and foster secure collaboration. You're probably already using SharePoint or Office 365 today to communicate and collaborate with your partners, and maybe even with your customers. And if you're not, you should probably consider it. Extending that functionality with the LMS will deepen the relationships between you and your partners, and your customers too. With the LMS, your organization can expand, integrate, and drive the entire value chain forward. In doing so, you achieve better quality, ensure standard processes, increase customer satisfaction, and again, enable deeper relationships. All critical factors required to succeed in today's fast-paced economy. Hey, sounds good to me, but what about the challenges in implementing such a system? You know, often companies are hesitant to implement new technology because of high costs and difficult work involved. We've seen the same problem with many legacy systems. Would you say that the benefits of employing a learning management system outweigh that cost? What people don't realize is that implementing an LMS doesn't have to be difficult. It should be a crawl, walk, run process. You can leverage your existing technology to build a full feature learning management system. Our customer, Paps Brewing Company, approached us for exactly this reason. Having a strong Microsoft foundation, they sought out a solution that integrated well with their already existing stack of Microsoft products, which included SharePoint, Outlook, OneDrive, the Microsoft Business Suite, and Skype for Business. Additionally, PAPS was in search of a solution that they would not have to host, allowed rapid deployment, and would be straightforward to use. Their mobile LMS 365 solution delivers training and provides the associated management to 500 employees spread across the globe. And all of this was within budget. What I'm saying is that your SharePoint or Office 365 can be the single source of training within your organization. Not only is this more cost effective, but it reduces the friction of change. Your employees already know how to operate in the familiar Microsoft environment, and on the back end, IT won't get a headache since the LMS integrates seamlessly. And it's scalable, right? Exactly, which is crucial in today's environment. You're training for growth, and your technology must follow that path. Your LMS needs to be able to support 50, 500, 5,000, or 50,000 learners onboard them, and sustain them across their learning life cycle in a quick and easy fashion. LMS 365 can do that. Joe, I've evaluated several LMS solutions recently, and most seem to be out of the box. Today, it isn't enough to offer a company just another piece of software. I'd expect a total learning solution that integrates with my current enterprise. Are other business owners looking for the same? Great question, Dave. Statistics show business owners want more. They want a learning management system that easily integrates with their existing enterprise and how they do business, the culture component of their company. They want advice and guidance about the best ways to utilize the functionality of their LMS. And they want to work with experienced LMS leaders who have been there. If a company's training program is not reflective of its brand, it doesn't have the right look or feel, its impact and adoption will suffer. A one-size-fits-all LMS should be avoided by companies that want to grow and present professional-looking online courses to their employees. Ultimately, the LMS should integrate into the culture and operating mindset of the client organization, not the other way around. All that being said, should companies be worried about coming up with a budget to implement a learning management solution? Companies shouldn't be worried about the cost of training employees. Rather, they should worry about the cost of not training them. In today's business environment, to quote Sir Francis Bacon, knowledge is power. As you mentioned before, Dave, 
Technology is a strategic enabler that connects knowledge to an organization and its culture. If your people learn and grow, so will the company. Now LMS directs this process to operationalize organizational knowledge, then connects it to the competencies and skills required to improve performance, drive growth, and create sustained value. When companies are experiencing reductions in growth and tightening their belts, training is usually one of the first items to get cut from the budget. Or in many cases, training and employee learning initiatives are seen as an extra benefit. But as we've discussed today, employee learning drives better performance, growth, and stronger risk management. I see that as the critical path to cost effectiveness. Well, I'm really starting to see the cost effectiveness, Joe. Definitely see it from a budgeting and total cost of ownership perspective, but I'm well beyond that now, and I'm really focused at the holistic and growth level. You know, the future can change so rapidly that we need to harness the knowledge within the organization to stay ahead and keep our people motivated and dedicated. What they do and how they do it drives our success today, tomorrow, and always. Can you add any more insight into why an LMS is an important part of this vision? Sure. I hope most of the thoughts I shared with you today connect to this main point. Without a LMS, your organization could be at a strategic disadvantage. As you just stated, knowledge connected to your culture, your people, is driving success. Not only is this statement intuitive, but there are countless surveys polling business leaders that have validated it. Those that harness its power and connect it to business objectives will have a higher probability of growth and success. They will also be more resilient to overcome the challenges they will face to get there. Those that do not will most likely struggle, unable to sustain what I call the learn, grow, evolve loop. If an organization struggles to learn, its growth potential will shrink, making it almost impossible to evolve. Eventually, it will decrease or even lose its competitive edge, and its people will move on. I think the jury's out. Knowledge is power. In organizations that use technology to harness it to grow will win the race. An LMS is one of those technology tools, especially if it can easily integrate into your existing enterprise. Joe, I would really like to thank you for your time today. Everything you mentioned resonates with me. As an executive in a company, this affects me personally and my responsibility to drive overall success within the company. My motivation is the bottom line, but I can't achieve my goals without taking care of my people first. Thanks again for your time today. That concludes our discussion. Thank you for spending some time with us to hear about learning management in SharePoint and Office 365. If you have any more questions or would like an in-depth look at LMS 365, our learning management system, please shoot us a note at the above email address or reach out to Dave and Joe directly. Also, feel free to give us a follow on our various social media pages and check out our website for more info. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your day.